good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel in today's video i want to talk about how you guys can receive an alert when a dms task fail now customer often love uh, to bring data from various sources such as postgres sql server into their raw s3 uh, area from there you will be basically building a medallion architecture where from raw data goes into bronze and from bronze we go to silver and from silver we go to a gold gold uh, aggregate level right but uh, to bring those data into the raw zone customer prefer aws dms because it simplifies the job and makes it very very easy to consume or bring the cdc data from your uh, the, the the database right so this video talks about how you guys can get alerted when you are using aws dms task so anytime the dms task fail we want to get notified we want to get an email saying that hey your dms task has failed so developers can go and probably read on the job uh, in today's video i'm presenting a simple yet an event driven approach in which anytime a dms task fails you will receive an email alert so let's take a solution uh, let's take a look at the solution so you have your DMS tasks that are running on AWS. Again, um, anytime it fails, all these events are published on EventBridge. So what we can do is we can, uh, you know, develop a rule which will match a pattern. And based on the pattern match, we can fire up a Lambda function and then pass the event to an SNS topic where whoever is subscribed will receive an email alert that, hey, your DMS task has failed, you know, go and check it out, right? So uh, what we will do is basically uh, we will use this particular um, uh, rule. So as you can see the detail type, DMS replication task state change, right? Source is gonna be aws.dms. And in the event type, whether it is failure or failed, we want to match that incoming uh, you know, uh, events. And if it matches, we wanna basically receive an alert. Now I do have the entire uh, you know code on uh, GitHub. So here you can see serverless.yml, where is the infrastructure code. Here is the Lambda function, and then here is the ENV. So now let's take a look on how you guys uh, should deploy this solution. Step one, clone the project repository and edit the environment variable. Put your AWS access, put your AWS secret key over here and AWS account over here. Once that is done in the serverless.yml, Put the email address who who is the person should be notified when a dms task fail once you have done that we can deploy the stack by using the command serverless deploy so now let's deploy the stack so i'm in the project repository and then all i'll do is say serverless deploy and this should deploy my stack on uh, aws so as you can see now it's building the cloud formation stack so i'll probably wait and resume the video once this is deployed so meanwhile, I can bring my AWS management console here, cloud formation, we can go here and we should see uh, this particular stack. As you can see, DMS fail job alert hyphen dev. Okay, so let me pause the video. Once the stack is deployed, I'll resume the video from here. So my stack has finally been deployed, as you can see. Now let's head over to AWS management console. If you go to event uh, bridge and if you go to rules and if you probably scroll down here, you can see I have a rule that is created. And here you can see, right? Uh, so this rule will uh, basically, so all the events that are coming in and any event that is from AWS DMS, it will match that. And if the event type is failure, what this will do is, as you can see, the target is a Lambda function. This will fire up a Lambda function. The Lambda function will process that event. As you can see, the Lambda function will process the event and essentially publish a message on SNS topic, which is over here. So now whoever is subscribed, as you can see, I have a dummy email address, abcd at abc.com. So you can simply put the email address and now anytime a DMS task will fail, you will receive email alerts. Thank you so much for watching the video. Complete uh, code could be found on my GitHub. And also I'll leave some uh, additional resources uh, that you can probably read more about. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.